Hey, what's up everybody? Jesse here and I'm out in my shed today because it is time to do some maintenance, yearly maintenance on my Krabitat that I've got down here. You want to check it out. Uh, I built this last year um, and it has worked fantastic for keeping fiddler crabs alive basically. I have a whole nother video that I'll link above right now on how I did this. But anyway, once a year you have to actually clean everything out of it, change the sand and everything and wash it out really good. Because what happens is as you're doing the water changes on it weekly uh, with the brackish water mixture that I've come up with, the water evaporates, but the salt doesn't. So each time you do it, the salt content's getting a little bit higher when you're adding that water back in. The salt basically stays in the sand as the water evaporates. It's really not good for the crabs once it gets above a certain level. I have no way of testing that. I know there are ways of doing it, but I, I know it's happening because I probably did 35, 40 water changes on this hang through last summer and fall and even this winter. So anyway, it's time to do it. I've already started pulling stuff out. As you can see, I've got their little houses out. I've already pulled all the rocks and stuff out. I've got the water starting to drain. It's a little bit clogged up right now, so I don't have to clean that out a little bit. And I've been going around catching all the fiddlers and I've got them in here. Um, there's actually a few left. And it's pretty crazy because I finally finished going through the ones that I had pretty much most of the winter. Uh, from last October, I think is when I had them. They pretty much made it all through the winter and I've just now finished using them up. So that's pretty wild. That's how well this thing worked. And what's even cooler is as I've been picking them out of here, I found a bunch of little tiny baby ones running around that are like really dark colored. It's like they raised in this um, environment here and it's like they're darker colored because they don't really get sun exposure so that's really cool anyway enough talking i've got to get this water out of this thing grab the shovel that's over here right there go ahead and scoop all of the sand out and get this thing cleaned and i'll show you what it looks like in the end all right guys i'm back and it really wasn't that bad i just basically drained the water took a shovel scooped all the sand out of it basically rinsed it out with the water hose really good got all that old gunk and stuff out the bottom and let it sit for a while put the new stuff back in it but i did do a couple things different Let the camera straight here you can see that this time i pretty much built like a jetty wall out of some gravel out of my driveway because i had issues last year over time with me adding water and I think just the general crab traffic in here of the sand coming down this way and wanting to block up my drain at the bottom here. Uh, it was not too big of a deal. I mean, it made it through a whole season, but it's every now and then I had to clean it out uh, to get it to drain properly. So this year I was like, you know what? I'm gonna build me a little jetty wall. So I got me some gravel that I pretty much just rinsed really good. I let it soak for a while in some water and make sure there was no chemicals or nothing on it and built me a little jetty wall and I got my new sand back here. Also something I did different this year was I used a pool a filter sand because it's already cleaned and rinsed and everything. And that way I don't have to worry about, you know, any chemicals or anything being in it. So got it all built up nice. I got their new little homes out of the insulation spacers. I just put new ones in here since they're so cheap. Uh, the old rocks and stuff, I rinsed all of them really good and just a couple old broke cinder blocks that I had laying around just to give them a few more places to hide. And I've already got a bucket of water here ready to go mixed with the Instant Ocean mix just like before. That's about five eighths of a cup of this to five gallons of water to make brackish water. And I used the chlorine remover like for aquariums just to kill the chlorine. Once again, all of this was covered in a prior video. And of course, here I've got my crabs that were remaining sitting in my little bait bucket here if you can see them down in there. And I want you to notice, if I can get them separated, if you look over there in that corner, I didn't have any crabs that small. I thought that was really cool that those little crabs, I didn't catch any crabs that small, basically is what I'm trying to say. And when I put them all in here, they were all fairly large crabs. So they must have been some very juvenile crabs that had already hatched from eggs and then come back and were hanging on to their parents or something. I don't know, but I thought it was kind of cool that they actually, you know, survived in this habitat like that. and you know, managed to live all that time. So that's really neat. But anyway, enough talk. I'm gonna get the water in here and just show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. All right, folks, there you go. I got it all filled up looking good. And I'm gonna go ahead and release the last of the crabs that I have into their new home for a while. Actually, I'll put them in the water. All right, guys, come on. 
up, little guy. I'm gonna put you up on my end. There. That's it. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it. It's done, ready for some grabs. So I just have to get off my butt and get my waders on and go do some grab hunting now and fill this thing up. The sheep's head season is here and I'm out of bait. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be glad to answer it however I can. Otherwise, peace out. I'll see you in the next video.